First Defense Weather is sponsored by 42 Degrees and Sunny, smoking deals on smoking accessories. Learn more at 42DegreesAndSunny.com. That's 42DegreesAndSunny.com. Fast, accurate, and every day, First Defense Weather. Well, a happy Wednesday to you. It definitely was a wet Wednesday this morning, and it's rain that's kind of well needed because you, yes, Sue, you, you definitely need a drink here. Uh, 2.13 inches is the current rainfall deficit since the beginning of the year. And since the beginning of the month, we're down 1.16 inches on rainfall to where we should be. So the rain is kind of nice. And we actually got a little bit more rain on the way. This is NOAA's quantitative precipitation forecast. And it's showing about a half an inch to about an inch worth of rainfall across western New York over the next couple of days. And it's not going to be coming all at once. So I don't think we're going to see a flooding problem. That's the good news, but it is going to be rain that we definitely do need to help. Uh, and of course, you know, the ground is still somewhat frozen, but at least rain, any rain is good rain, but it's going to turn much my, but uh, it's going to turn much windier on Friday. High wind watch in place for all of the southern tier does not include Allegheny County and also does not include Warren County. As of now, the uh, this watch goes into effect Friday morning and will stay in place until 5 p.m. on Friday. And the strongest winds are going to be right near the Lake Erie shoreline as often is the case. This is as another storm system goes directly over the area here. So southwest winds 25 to 35, some some gusts about 50 to 60 miles per hour. And the main impacts here is going to be obviously tree and maybe some power line damage or so scattered uh, power out power outages will be likely. So let's step you through the day here on the in-house computer modeling. The rain that we had is tapered off, maybe some peaks of sunshine through the afternoon. And again, notice the model spitting up a couple rain showers through the afternoon. Wouldn't rule those out. I do think it is a possibility as that storm moves up into the upper Great Lakes, up into Canada. Then actually a, a couple scattered showers uh, this evening, then clears out overnight, partial clearing to start the day tomorrow. And then in the afternoon, as a storm system goes right over us, we'll see the influx of more moisture coming in. So rain showers through the afternoon on Thursday, and there could be some moderate to heavy downpours uh, within that Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, and then going into Friday. But the good news is we don't expect any severe weather out of that. The atmosphere just does not, uh, uh, is not going to be enough to uh, support severe weather and the storm's not going to uh, really uh, produce any uh, severe weather either. So uh, th through the afternoon today, mostly cloudy, some sunshine, scattered rain showers possible through the afternoon, still a mild day, 60 to 67 with a south wind 7 to 14. If that storm system was going more closer to us today, it would be a lot more windier today. A couple early showers, then partial clearing overnight. Over an overall mild night, 47 to 52 southwest wind, 10 to 15 miles per hour. The 42 degrees and sunny seven days, 71 tomorrow. The record high is 74, set back in 1945. I don't think we'll hit it, but we're going to come very close. Friday, as that storm system moves directly over us, a pair of five strong wind gusts. That's why we highlighted Friday in red, just to let you know that uh, there's going to be some strong wind gusts. A better day coming up on Saturday, 58. More rain showers on Sunday, down to 50. We'll start the next work week a little bit chilly 41 and then we've got two nickels for you uh, next Tuesday but at least the sun will be out in good supply.